Welcome to Lecture 1B, Navigating Brightspace. In this lecture, I'm just going to share my screen so that I can take you through the course Brightspace page, just so you get to know where to post things, where to view your assignments. I'm going to start at the very beginning, which is I'm going to do a, a Google search for Brightspace Graceland. Here we go. This will take you into the login page. There you can log in and this will take you to your personal Brightspace page. Here on the right hand side of your personal page, you'll see all your courses. Here's my courses. You'll have all your courses show up there. At least they should. So I'll go ahead and click on our course. And I'm just going to change this to student U. You don't have to do that. Yours will come up automatically, but I'm getting the professor view. So now I have the student view. The first thing that will come up for you is any announcements. And I'll post announcements every so often, probably in the first weeks I'll post at least once a week. Later on, it won't be that often. And those announcements will be right here. Over to this side, you'll see your calendar. And your calendar should have anything that's due coming up. And again, you can get to any of your other courses as well, right there. So the first thing that you should do is find this yellow menu across the top and click on the content. When you click on that content tab, another drop down menu will come. And in this drop down menu, you'll see that I have weeks laid out. So we're just in week one and it says week one begin class here. So go ahead and click that. When you click that week one begin class here, you'll see this little introduction and every week I will post a to-do list for the week. So this week, really all you have to do is watch a lecture, take a look at the choose your own grade document, take a look at the syllabus, and then you might already have done that by now because you are watching Lecture 1B Navigating Brightspace. Now also I'm going to show you the other things that you'll need to know for the class. So let's head back to that yellow menu across the top. It says content, activities, communication, grades, help, and tools. What are the important things to know here? Firstly, you will absolutely need to know where the activities are because the first thing in the activities drop down menu is your assignments. So if you click on that, any assignments that are available to you will come up. Now, all the assignments are not available to you because you have to complete them in order. So right now you should see your first assignment, which is the introduction building ethos. And that's due on September 8th. That's a Friday. And you should see also the discussion post bonus discussion post. You can post that anytime. The First assignment is quite easy. It's just an introductory video. We'll click to see there. It's uh, less than two minutes. And I just want you to say your name, something you're an expert in, something you're passionate about. Now I have in bold here, do not submit the video here. Post in the introduction video on the discussion in the communication tab. Make sure to start a new thread for your video and write a few words. What do I mean by that? So you could just submit it here, but if you submit your introduction video here, none of your classmates will see it. I'll be the only one who's able to see it. Well, besides from you. So when it comes to things like these types of videos, I want you to submit them on the discussion board. Where is the discussion board? The discussion board, again, I want you to go back up to that top yellow menu and find communication. 
and communication has the discussions. Click on that discussions and you'll see a list of the discussions. And the first thing that you see there is introduction building ethos. That's where I want you to post your introduction video. Now, often students will have problems posting their first video. And the general problem is it's too large. The file is too large. Some of you have high quality cameras, you're using uh, uh, a high download. So often the easiest thing to do really, I find is to post it to YouTube and then just post a, a link to that YouTube. So we'll click on this introduction video. It's gonna take you to where you post and that's what I've done. I've posted my video as a link to YouTube and it'll just take you out there. Um, or if you are having trouble posting and you want to try, you can just reduce the file size. If you ever have any trouble with technical stuff like that, Graceland has excellent technical support. You can just contact them. You can phone them uh, during out during office hours. I think it's um, I think it's nine to five. Monday to Friday, but I'm not sure you can check on on the site for that. Or um, you can just send them an email as well. So if you ever have any technical problems, it's easier just to talk to them rather than me. All right, let's see if there's any other discussions available to us. Back to our discussion list and you'll see that Yes, there is a bonus discussion post. This is again, I just want to get to know everybody in the class and I want you to get to know each other. And so the bonus discussion post is just to send to post a picture of something you love. It could be your pets, it could be your car, it could be your mom, your little sister, anything that you love. So I've posted a picture here of the fosters, the kittens that I've been fostering. This is Earl and Eleanor. Just something to get to know you. And that's just a bonus activity if you want to do it to get to know each other. So what else are you going to have to know for the course? Again, back to this yellow menu at the top of the screen, content, activities, that's where the assignments were. Communication, that's where the discussions were. Grades. Obviously, you're going to want to know what your grades are. You can click that and you can see anything that you've finished. So obviously, you haven't done anything for the course yet and it'll all be blank there. Um, please don't pay attention to the points here because as you know, this is a choose your own grade class. If you want an A, you can get an A in this class. It, if you want to just pull through, do the minimum amount of work, you can get a D in the class. It's all about how much you want to work. This class should be a lot less stressful than your other classes because I don't care if you do the assignment three times. I just want you to do a good job at it. So I'll just keep asking you to do the assignment and even the exam over and over again until you get a satisfactory mark. So again, top menu, we've got content activities. That's where you'll find your assignment. Communications, that's where you'll find discussion. Grades, obviously your grades. How about the help tab? Help, you've got a link to the library, a link to Brightspace help. And then if you click on this get support, this is actually really useful because it shows you can submit a technical support question right here. And you can also contact the student help desk. And of course, you can contact your advisor if you need it. It also shows you that there is system maintenance the fourth Sunday of each month from 2 a.m. 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. So that shouldn't be a problem for us. It's probably all that you'll need to know about getting around Brightspace. If you have any other questions, you can always message me um, as you know, you can set up a Zoom appointment with me, or you can just send me an email. I'm a, I won't be on campus this semester, but I'm really easy to access. I'm a night owl, so you can talk to me after classes. 
really most afternoons I'm free as well. That's all. I hope this gave you an introduction to Brightspace and you're well on your way to starting your university semester.